Well, welcome to Math 9 and hopefully this video will help you uh, explain a little bit how to use Logger Pro 3 to analyze video um, as part of the Criterion CD free kick assignment that's going to be a uh, summative that we'll be having this year. So um, a few things that I wanted to point out. Uh, you will film yourself or a friend or a group of people taking a penalty kick or a couple of penalty kicks um, and get some footage of of a ball flying through the air similar to the ones that we discussed in class and these are some things that I mentioned right here that you want to consider when you're actually taking the video so um, today we're just going to just take a look at a video that I've already recorded of Russell throwing a ball and this is not uh, exactly what, what you're going to be doing but but we'll just basically I want to go through the steps of how to use Logger Pro so that you have success when you analyze your own kicks so First thing you want to do is go and open up Logger Pro. So go to your Finder, go to your Applications, open up Logger Pro 3. Uh, so Logger Pro 3. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert a movie. Okay, so this is a movie that uh, I'm just going to choose mine. Mine's called Russell. And I'm just Im essentially importing a, a, a video of Russell throwing a ball in the gymnasium. So uh, you'll notice right away that Logger Pro will throw an axis uh, and a grid already where it'll actually, if you plotted some points on the video itself, it would correspond to the grid that's right behind. So size the video so that it's a size that you know you can work with and manage well work with. The video that I'm going to analyze today is, I'll just scroll through it really quickly, is just a picture of Russell throwing a ball up. I'll just play it. And bouncing on the other side. So it's just, we're going to be taking a look at the parabolic path um, of a ball and we're going to try to track the motion of that ball and represent the motion of that ball mathematically using uh, technology. So when you have Logger Pro open and you have your video imported, first thing you want to do is down here you're going to see this little button here, Enable Video Analysis. And that will give you a whole range of different toolbars over on the side that you're going to use to track the motion of that ball. So whenever you are analyzing a real-world video, uh, we have to several things to consider. Where do you want the origin? Uh, because your mathematical equation will be dependent on where you want the origin to be, as well as you have to set a scale. So what distance in the real world corresponds to that same distance in the video? So we need to set a scale for the video, which is this right here, this little ruler stick. So I'm going to go over what you do is you click on the ruler I know from Russell's hip to his feet is about one meter um, and you'll have a, obviously have a meter stick or uh, something that's pre-measured in your video to kinda use as a measuring stick so you just basically click and drag what would be a meter in the video and up pops the that distance this little line that I just drew is one meter in the real world so we're setting a scale for the video just hit OK. Then I need to decide where I want the origin to be um, for my motion. And I'm just going to choose the origin. So we click this button right here for origin. Um, instead, of, I could choose the origin to be the, the starting spot where the ball was released. I could choose the ground level right underneath where the ball was was thrown. I could choose a variety of different locations, maybe the hoop, maybe the, so if I had some people standing here, I could choose that as an origin, but my equation will change depending on where I define the origin to be. Um, so I have my axis, I have the origin set, and now I can click this button right here and it'll start actually allowing me to track the ball. So essentially every time I click on the ball, it will advance the frame. I move the cursor right over the ball again, press the button, move the cursor over the ball, and I just keep on doing that. I move the cursor over the ball, and I click. Cursor over the ball, and I click. I'll just keep doing this. And it's hard to see up here, so make sure that you try to get reasonable footage of the ball. Let's 
So the ball goes up, and now it's starting to go on a downward path. I'm just doing this really quickly. You'll obviously take a little bit more time and care in creating the models. So let me just click a little bit. All right, so there we've gone through the full motion. I can see I messed up a little bit here up at the top when I couldn't see the ball, but um, that's essentially I just tracked uh, all the, the motion of the ball where it went up and went down. And over here for the video analysis, it actually will give me the time based on uh, how many frames per second my video is, as well as the X coordinate, the Y coordinate. Let's see if I can make this a little bit larger over here the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and uh, also um, this right here is the speed in the X direction and also the speed in, in the Y direction. You can take a look at that and analyze whatever data that you want given from here. So just to kind of give you an idea, I could highlight these two, I can highlight these two graphs right here. I can I can go and do uh, take a look at the data, analyze and do a curved fit. So I can do a curved fit or take a look at say video analysis in the y direction. So here is an example of change in the y direction. So which is my height versus time. So you'll see that it also has a quadratic path. I can do a quadratic fit through it and get try a fit and I can get my variables that would correspond to a best fit line that goes through the, these data points. Now this is uh, the height versus time graph. It's uh, kind of, You'll see if you plot several different uh, videos of different kicks, you'll notice that there's some similar characteristics between these graphs. And it might be worth looking at what happens when you kick the ball really high, what happens when you have a, a flatter kick, what are some of the characteristics um, that correspond to this type of graph. Um, you can also do analyze, and I'll do a curve fit through the x direction. Um, and you can take a look, and this really would be ideal to use a quadratic fit through this data. So I will go up and actually use a linear fit, something that we learned at the beginning of the year. I'll try a fit through it as well. And here is a best fit line. So this is a change in the x direction versus time. So it's a distance speed graph, or sorry, different distance time graph. And as we kind of learned in the linear section, that the slope of this of this line, which is right here, is an approximate speed of uh, that the ball was moving in the horizontal direction. So it's a lot of valuable information that you can get through these different models of the one ball that has been thrown here. Um, if I wanted to actually look at the X and Y data, now this is the data that we want you to analyze. Um, this is uh, the, the graph. You'd want to click or essentially copy all the, the data points you can go control click or just edit copy um, and open up a program like Excel and paste all the data points. So here we have in column A all the X values and Y values. These are all correspond to points that we plotted on the graph. And we can go and insert a, a chart, a scatter, a scatter plot, and here we have X versus Y and we can go through similar and take a look at, at a trend line. Um, I'm going to display the chart, trend line on the chart. What type of trend line do I want to have? It to, I want to do a polynomial of order two. That's a quadratic trend line. And there we go. This would be a good mathematical model that would represent the motion of the ball uh, given height versus change in the x direction from the origin. Um, so we could use this to see whether the model, if the ball would actually make it over the wall of people standing there, if it would actually make it to the top corner um, and, and take a look at 
uh, you know, what characteristics kind of relate to real world situation or how close this model is to the models that you created. So between Logger Pro um, and Excel, you can use Excel to graph any relationships that you want as well. But it was mainly Logger Pro that we used to actually plot the points and track the motion of the ball. Um, if you have any problems with this, come and see me. I'll be more than happy to walk you through it again and uh, try to explain some of the basic steps. Hope this, I hope this helps.